Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we are going to be modeling this wedge clamp. Let's start by opening a new part. Maybe it is good that we close first our uh, assembly. And in SolidWorks we create a new part document. First part will be the part which was in the middle, the white plane. I'm creating a sketch and it is a simple part. Simply, we are going to create something like this, and after this operation, we will make a mirror. This will be mirrored in this axis. Here we have a 20 millimeter, here we have a 15, and our angle in total 40. Then we close our sketch. On extrude plus base, we make 40 millimeter extrude, but in the mid plane. Now our part is 40 millimeter. We click on our top plane and we look normal to and create the rest sketch. Simply sketch which will like, look like this. Yes, and then from origin, we bring here a construction geometry and make vertical. These two will be equal. This value is 35. This value is 30. And as you see, we don't have a fully defined sketch we should add some values here two and a half here two and a half and as you see there is a misalignment we click on this one we click on this one and we make collinear after we can close our contour and the sketch is done we close our sketch we select our sketch and then we go to extrude. Extrude will be according to this uh, edge. And we will say up the surface, which will be here. And then as you see, according to that angle, our profile is continuous. And on front plane, later on I will make a mirror. This feature will be mirrored according to our front plane and that's good now we will go create a hole for our bolt hole type will be counter bore metric socket head cap screw metric 10 position will be on top surface and then with our control we click our origin, we select our center point of bolt, and we say long y axis align it. And then after this operation, our head for bolt is created. Chamfer here and here. I have one millimeter chamfers. And then we are going to create other chamfers which is 0 0.5, yeah, 0 0.25, maybe better on these edges. We select all edges. Yes. If you want, you can place a uh, chamfer on top uh, and bottom surface, but now I don't prefer. And then later on, I will save this part and I say 000B000 and after I'm going to create my second part, I open a new part document on the right plane, sketch, and simple profile again. 
as you see on screen. This is 25, this is 12 and a half, and this is 20 degree. If you are done with that, you say, okay, your sketch, and on mid plane, 40 millimeter extrude. Here we come, we look normal too, and we create here a sketch. Simply profile will look like this. Now, what we can do, we can make a mirror for entities. This will be mirrored on this axis. And then we close our profile. So we in a line. This is 35. This is 30. Two and a half by two and a half. Simply with control, we can give a relationship while control is pressed. Select two object and then sketch done. Extrude cut according to this vector and operation done. We can give here some chamfers now. Zero to any five. On this tree edge, the rest we will look later. Now, one millimeter chamfer on the surface that is looking good, and we look normal to now. Here, we create on top plate a sketch, and basically, we create here a triangle. as you see and I will say linear sketch pattern 0.7 let's see not sure 275 let's make it yes and we copy instances I don't know how much will be the number of that yes and I will bring this last one on this edge and 16 copy and the value between automatically defined 0 0.67 16 instances and then later on we say okay and we cut everything from this profile we are looking now the surface simply creating a triangle again perpendicular select everything now in y axis to 75 i said before i think we will copy around a number and then i will bring last instances instance here now we have 10 this value is a little bit bigger but it's okay it's a tutorial normal idea in this thing having a square here but now we have i think some kind of uh, rectangle maybe we can try to add one more here 11 and try to see what's happening with the value nah, it's smaller not good let's keep it how it was yeah this can be construction geometry that's good and this model also done and we can say b1 and i'm going to create an assembly now firstly i'm going to ask 000 and then 001 right click on the first part now it's fixed 
say float here right plane on the assembly and right plane on the our part and i will give here a mate after this operation we select from plane of the assembly and from plane of the our part and then we give again a relationship if you look we have only in this direction y direction orientation is not good but let's accept as a z direction we have only in z direction and uh, how you say uh, move on top plane i select and this button will be on top plane because we expect to have only in this direction a move and right plane is selected right plane is selected on two part second part and then we will have only in one direction move now as you see that's good that was the thing that we were searching for then mate on the surface and on the surface it is good now i will make a mirror operation on form plane mirror components and this component will be mirrored and at the other side if you see let's move both what we are going to do now giving distances the constraint our assembly made advanced made and limit distance this to the surface minimal is zero maximum is 10 minimal will be zero maximum 10 it's okay if you see now everything is fully defined and after this operation i will just bring a bolt toolbox then bolts and screws hexagon socket head screws and here socket head cap and create a part metric 10 length let's say 30 we created there and we came back our assembly environment we brought this bolt here let's just drop there if you press alt and you are going to give you a, a concentric mate and then if you select bottom and if you select the surface of the bolt you will place correctly on the right spot only this will be your move yes if you want you can give some colors right click the whole part giving here a color here also right click on the whole part again giving a dark color and then our tutorial is ending Thanks for watching. If you like video, please make comment and hit the like button. I hope it is clear. It's a simple example. Thanks for watching.